I want to talk about a technique that will help you reduce your anxiety around food when you're trying to stick to a diet. Now, this is part of the Viking diet from my book, How to Become a Modern Viking. So one of the most powerful techniques that I learned when I was trying to change my diet to be better and healthier was this concept of food is fuel. Now, I tried all the diets. I tried paleo diet. I tried gluten-free diet. I tried liquid diets. I tried juicing diets. And like I'm sure you found as well, you change the diet and within a few weeks, you start slipping, you start getting bored of what you're eating. You know, when I started getting into the bodybuilding and I started wanting to change the way that I looked and I started thinking, you know, what would a Viking look like? What should a Viking look like? The first thing I did is I dove in straight away, you know, with, with all of the, the fitness and bodybuilding nutrition advice and I started making uh, boiled chicken breast, brown rice, broccoli, every meal, like six meals a day. Like this is what bodybuilders eat. This is what I should be eating. And if you've ever tried this sort of diet yourself, you realize that after just a few days, it tastes like shit. And you start coming up with these ideas of cheat meals. Okay, I'll have one cheat meal in a week. I'll have a pizza because I've earned it. I've earned a pizza after my cardio. And then you'll go to KFC with the friends on a weekend, you know, because it's a weekend. It's a cheat weekend. I've earned it. I've worked hard this week. And before you know it, you're not on your diet anymore. You've totally dropped off. So I started to think about this in terms of, you know, what would a Viking do? How did Vikings eat? You know, like these are hard times. You know, today we have this abundance society. We have so much food around us. We have so much options. We can go out and eat as much as we want. We don't have to hunt and fish to get our food. And food is relatively cheap. Even the poorest people, you know, in, in, a, in a typical Western society, you know, in the most basic job, you can afford to go out and buy yourself shitty pizza and shitty KFC and, and all the crappy fast food you want and all the chocolate and sugar. Like, shit food is easy to come by. Okay, so, does so I think, how did they get all the high protein that they need to build these big, strong, muscular bodies, to have all the calories they need to, to row across fucking oceans, land and kick the shit out of everyone they found. How did they do that? And I came up with this concept of food is fuel. Food is not a magical treat and reward that you are entitled to. It's just not. It's fuel. Now, what this means is, first of all, the quality of the fuel is important. Because just like you, if you have a really nice car, you don't go to some shitty gas station and pour Gatorade inside it. No, of course you don't. You put in high quality gasoline because that's what the engine needs. Nice refined gasoline. The quality of the fuel is going to make the engine work better. So when you think about food is fuel, you suddenly, you know, you start thinking twice before you put that greasy, salty, full of sugar, Big Mac shit in your body. Now, Second thing you start thinking about, as well as the quality of the food, is does it always have to be a proper meal? Now, if you're lucky, you grew up and you had, you know, wonderful home-cooked meals cooked for you by your mom or your dad or whatever, and everything was always proper on a plate. If you had spaghetti bolognese, it was always the pasta with the bolognese. If you had uh, a roast dinner or a Thanksgiving, you know, it was always the vegetables with the meat. You know, if you had a sandwich, it was always cooked in a particular way or made in a particular way. There are certain meals that we have in our mind and we have this concept of eating in meals. And then what I found is sometimes I just didn't have the things in, in my kitchen to put together one of these proper meals. And it bugged me and I'd be like, oh, I've, got to, I've got to think about how to make this properly. Now, when you start thinking about food is fuel, actually you realize that what you need is some protein, some carbs and some healthy fats. Now, I don't care if that means that I'm going to stand here and just eat a salad and then I'm going to cook a bit of chicken later and then I'm going to eat an avocado or I'm going to have a shot of olive oil. I don't care. It's not about sitting down and enjoying a meal, sitting on my own for 30 minutes in a lunch break. No, it's about throwing fuel in my body, getting it in my body so that my body can start using it and I can just get on with much more important things. Okay, so... So we're thinking about the quality, we're thinking about, or we're, we're not worrying about, is this a proper meal, okay? And the third, and possibly the most important, and 
and probably the, the, the most important principle about this that, that helped me to switch on to this, this lifestyle and this way of thinking about food and my relationship with food was you need to remove the emotional connection that you have with food. The emotional connection that has been drilled into you by marketing. The emotional connection that you deserve that tub of ice cream at the end of the day. You deserve that Ben and Jerry's. You deserve that Domino's pizza. If you want to feel happy and you've had a hard day, sit down, have a bar of chocolate, have a bar of Cadbury's chocolate. If you want to go out and you with some friends and you want to have a good fun time together, what do you do? You get a bucket of KFC chicken together. You know, and you deserve that, that emotional happiness that that, that meal is going to give you. And this is bullshit. You shouldn't be getting your emotional happiness, your emotional reward, your emotional satisfaction from food. There are far greater, richer experiences out there, like friends and family and seeing stuff and traveling and, and, and just so many things. You, like, you need to remove this concept that when you're faced with water or Coke, Coke makes you happier. This, this emotional stuff, I mean, like some stuff like, like Coke has chemicals and that literally get us addicted to it. And, you know, chocolate makes us a little bit happier on a chemical level. But you've got to stop thinking about this idea that food is a reward. Food is happy. No, food is fuel. Food is what your body needs to get bigger and musclier. Food is what your body uses to make those muscles work. When you're on a battlefield, when you're rowing a boat, when you're hunting. Or just when you're trying to go and play squash with the guy from accounts. Food is fuel. So as you move on to the Viking diet, you start thinking about you know, trying to change the quality of the food you put into your body. Think about this concept. Food is fuel. And literally say this to yourself as a mantra. Like, don't think I'm weird on this. I say this out loud a lot. Oh, food is fuel. Oh, well, no worries. Food is fuel. And I say it in my head a lot. Food is fuel. And because the more you say this to yourself, the more you will start to think it. And then the more you act like this, the more you'll become comfortable with it. And the more you'll start to realize the benefits of thinking about food in this way. And you'll start eating better food. Because this isn't about punishing yourself. This isn't about taking away the food that made you happy. This is about putting the source of food in your body that will make you stronger, happier, healthier, more sustained energy levels, better brain chemistry. So go out and think. Food is fuel. The quality of the food that goes into my body. Um, proper meals. Like food does not always have to fall into a proper meal. You just need to eat the, the building blocks and throw it into yourself. And that's it. And thirdly, remove the emotional connection and the emotional reward that you associate with food. And guys, this is going to help you to achieve the Viking diet. So go out, try it. Uh, remember, you're not actually a Viking. You're a modern Viking. So don't actually kill anyone.